Hey, dear friends and neighbors, it's your old pal Slap Ha Ho Jackson saying, You ain't living, not even a smidgen, if you ain't so fishing. Well, you know, I had some down days. Then that wind and rain came in like there was no tomorrow. Then I had a couple of days of sunshine. And then things turned ugly again. Well, I won't tell you about it. Just take a look. All right, so I went down to Green Island, and boy, was I excited. I see all these birds working the bait here. I figured, hey, I'm going to connect. Well, I watch these birds, and they're diving in the water, and there's bait there, but I don't see them coming out of the water with any bait in their beaks. Uh, every time they dive in, no bait, no bait, no bait. So I believe the bait is there. I believe the birds want to get at the bait, but there's no predators to keep the bait at the surface, so the birds dive in, but they, they just can't reach the bait. Uh, anyhow, this is what they're after, and it's a whole bunch of little spearing-like bait. I was fishing Green Island about two hours. All I got was skunk, 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 skunk. All right, I figured I'd outsmart myself and go to Sunken Meadow at night. I'm using a swimming plug. <laughs> what a genius. The only thing I got was skunk, 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 skunk. Ah, oh, the smell of the pew. All righty, it may be a short fluke, but it's better than catching nothing, I'll tell you that. I was using my pencil popper before, and I did get a follow-up. Probably was a small blue, one of those snapper blues. And so I switched to this lead head with some gulp, and I got a little nibble here by this uh, short fluke. But let's get him back in the water. Alrighty, I came back down here to Green Island. There was a lot of bait around the last time I was out here. So I figured, all right, let me try my luck. So what happened is uh, I got this fluke. And uh, he's a gorgeous uh, specimen, and let's get him back in the water. All righty, so it seems like the little snappers have been eating away at my gulp tail. So instead of changing the gulp every five seconds, I threw on this pork rind imitation, and I caught that fluke on it. So I wanted you to see what it looked like. All righty, Mr. Fluke number two. All right, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get him back in the water. He's smaller than the other one. Yeah, quite a bit smaller, too. All right, so as I'm leaving Green Island, all of a sudden I see this guy's into a nice, uh, uh, well, I don't want to tell you right now, but that's Randy there, and he's got himself a nice hookup. Well, you know, <laughs> I didn't know it was him, but when I was fishing for those flutes just a couple of minutes ago... <laughs> Yeah, that's right, his best side. Anyhow, when I was uh, I was fishing for Flook a couple of minutes ago, there was this guy who was unhooking a, a, a ray uh, right at the beach. I didn't realize it, but that's Randy. I seen him uh, catch at least one ray. This is his second one, and I believe it's a total of about seven he's got. This is number seven. Take a look at this thing. Oh, yeah, he's not there, or she's not tired yet. All right, now, listen, listen to this. Oh, man, you don't want to be smacked with those wings. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. Anyhow, Randy got down there, got the hook out, and sent the uh, ray back. Yeah, she'll get her bread. She'll go. She's tired from fighting. Well done, Randy. Well done, man. All right, it was a beautiful day today, so I figured I'd go down to Manhasset Bay and see what was going on there. Lots of bait, lots of snappers, but no predators. I went over to Leeds Pond, and on the way, I see this mushroom. It's bigger than my outstretched hand. All right, I get down to Leeds Pond, and what is it? Well, lots of bait, lots of snappers, but nothing but skunk for me, man. Ah, that skunk reared his dirty, stinking head once again. Good luck, my friends, and tight lines.